What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. My name is B Tide and today we're doing the Gang Challenge. The Gang Challenge is something a buddy of mine came up with in the Gang Gaming Network or the GGN Network. He has come up with this kind of idea where him and five other people in the clan all use the same weapon and they jump into a search and destroy game and they try to win. And he's called it the Gang Challenge. The very first one was, was with the Riot Shield or the Heavy Shield, I can't remember what it was called, in Advanced Warfare. And now he's just done one for the Weevil in Black Ops 3. And now that I used to be part of Gang Gaming Network, and I decided to challenge him. So we're going to be using the Weevil today, and uh, we're going to be trying to win a search and, search and destroy a game. Now, of course, he gets a full team of six people uh, that are all kind of communicating together, all using the same weapon, all trying to win. Whereas I am a lone wolf, so I kind of have to deal with the consequences of that. And I kind of try and have to win. I have to carry my team and win by myself. Uh, I've tried this just once and the team that i got paired with was so bad that i actually couldn't carry them I, I, despite my best efforts now the team i got paired with was five guys all using sniper rifles and they actually weren't all together there was two of them that were together the rest of them were just solo but they were all using sniper rifles and not a single one of them was good at sniping so basically we went like four losses to and zero wins and the other team won because the other team was all communicating and uh they were all like a big team and they were they were like talking about it and like where they were going and they were like really in depth like going hard so it was basically me against their entire team so obviously we lost now in this gameplay i just jumped into this lobby this is my first game in this lobby so I finally got a fresh game, so I don't know any of these people that I've been playing with. It looks like my team has kind of the advantage. We've got a couple guys that are all together. So this should be a quick and easy breeze of a game, and uh, we should be able to get through this without too many scratches and scrapes. Now, the Weevil is not that bad of a weapon, so I'm, I'm kind of confused why j -Paz, uh, the leader of GGN, chose the Weevil as the gang challenge. In Advanced Warfare, he chose the Heavy Shield, which was logical because it was like, yeah, it's a challenge to try and use that Heavy Shield and win because it sucks. Like, the Heavy Shield is, it was not a good weapon, whereas the Weevil, I don't think it's that bad of a weapon. I think it's actually a very viable weapon. It's got a relatively slow time to kill, and it's one of the worst submachine guns, but it's still a competitive weapon. You can still use it at most ranges. It does have some spots where, and some little niches that it can that it can be a lot better than other weapons, but it, it just can't compete with really extremely powerful weapons, but there's a lot of guns in this game that can't do that. We're waiting for some patches on a lot of weapons that to even some stuff out, and that will be really great when we get them, but the, the Weevil is one of those weapons where it, it is usable, it's just not as good as some other weapons. Now, the Weevil is like a four to six shot kill, and that six shot kill can be a, a real pain in the ass. That can be one of the biggest things about the Weevil that's not very good. But when you're using the right attachments and stuff, you can really use uh, you can really use the Weevil to to the best of your ability, and it's it doesn't have to be a bad weapon. Now, of course, I don't have any attachments on mine because I literally just prestiged it before I started this game. So I have an added challenge of not using not using any perks or not perks, uh, any attachments on my Weevil. So I've already died twice. I'm not doing very, very well because I'm doing this kind of big intro thing. So hopefully uh, I'll stop talking soon and we can focus on the gameplay and try and win. The camo you're seeing on the Weevil is actually the Inferno camo, and I don't think I've talked about that one on First Look Camos yet. I believe it is a common camo. It's from the black market for sure, but I don't know if it's common or rare or whatever. I believe it's common. Reason to believe it's common. It's because it's kind of plain looking. So I think the Weevil is actually quite good at close range. Oh, whoa! I definitely thought those footprints were leading out that direction. But I think it's very good at close range. I think it at close range is a four shot kill just like any other SMG and it can it can really do some work at close range. It's got a higher higher than average fire rate and it's got uh it's got a wicked magazine size. I think that is a that's the number one thing about the Weevil that's great is that it's got a massive magazine size, 50 bullets. You can really take down like one or two or three guys without have to without worrying about having to reload and that's what's really great about it is taking on enemies that are at close range you can really do that with the weevil 
One thing that the Weevil is not so great at is definitely the long range because it's not super accurate. And uh, what is this guy doing? It's not super accurate and it's not uh, it's not great to handle, which can make it a really tough weapon to use at long ranges. Coupled with that six shot kill can just be devastating at long ranges. So like, uh, it's definitely a closer range weapon. You got to really get in close, which is which kind of makes it hard to use in search and destroy. Especially with my, uh, especially with my gameplay type, like when I play Search and Destroy, especially Search and Destroy, but generally in most of my gameplay, I like to take it slow. I like to stick to the outside of the map. I like to kind of work my way around the map and try and kill any stragglers. I don't like to generally run right into the thick of the battle. I find that's a quick way to get killed so i don't like to do that a lot instead i like to take my time and just kind of sneak around which the weevil isn't that great at the weevil it's it's got to be like up close and fighting at in a b flag and domination you know i saw some firing in here i don't know if the guy's still in here or if that other guy got him i wasn't really paying attention so I'm kind of hesitant to jump out here. I'm going to see if that guy's going to survive his gunfight over there. Which he did, so I'm going to pop out. If he if he was confident enough to turn around and start shooting the other direction, that means that he killed the enemy before. Now there are two people alive on the other team. One of them's at B. About to kill this guy. One guy is... Okay, nope. I thought that was definitely a ninja diffuser, but I saw a guy moving there. It was just his dead body hitting the floor. Now this guy needs to get over to B very fast, which he's not going to do. Shit. So we have to win three three rounds in a row to their one. So I really gotta pick it up here. I'm not doing very good. If I wasn't stupidly shooting at the guy's body on the ground there, I definitely would have got that guy. When I saw his his body hit the ground and it was still wriggling and moving, it was just like really, really like took my attention away from that guy shooting over there. I definitely thought that was and that was the other enemy going over to Ninja Diffuse or something. No, that's not good. I do not have a, I don't have a rocket launcher, so I can't shoot down that UAV. And these idiots that are running next to me are probably not running Ghost, which means they're about to give away my my position. So I'm gonna try and move away from them now. What's up, buddy? So that means they're a B. We just cleared out pretty much all near A. So that means there's a good chance that they are kind of chilling around at B here. But my entire team's at B, so they must have been they must have gone to A. Oh yep, yeah, the guy was hiding around the corner there. He stabbed me in the back. Not cool. Ha! Huh. He was. He was hiding right around the corner. That bugger. Lucky that guy. Lucky the ripper doesn't work that way. That he wouldn't have ripped that guy in in the middle of ripping me. That would be really cool if the ripper worked like that. Like rip right through an enemy. That would be super super cool. Thank God it doesn't work that way though, because we would have lost probably. Because that guy would have ripped us both and ran away. He could have got the advantage on the last couple guys. Nice little long range kill there with the weevil. Now, I don't trust this position anymore now that I've given it away. Especially because of that. That's what I was expecting to happen. That's why I was kind of going to throw that concussion out. Then I was going to check the water. Of course, that didn't work out for me. This guy's shooting the wall over here. There's somebody behind him. I can hear somebody behind him. There he is. Rejacket, rejacket. Oh my god. Buddy, why are you shooting through things? Don't shoot through things. It's a terrible idea. That guy just... 
Are you fucking kidding me? What? Okay, so I guess we just lost because the last guy committed suicide. I don't know why he would do that. That was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, if any of you guys have any idea why that guy just did that, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. That was the Gang Weevil Challenge. And I'm going to be making probably another video in the future of my own challenge where I'm going to make my own kind of weapon. And we're going to jump into a search and destroy game where you have to, where I'm going to try and get a good gameplay. And then I might challenge Gang back. So make sure you're following the channel in case that happens. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and like I said, what the hell was that all about, right? Let me know in the comment section down below if you do know what it was about, and I'll see you guys on the next video.